All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to Food for Thought. It is Anthony Stewart, and we are challenging everything they've ever said. We want to know who they are. Um, uh, we want to ask some questions, find some, maybe find some truth, uh, some different opinions, and you know, for the greater good of you. Um, today, it is June 29th, um, and our lack of summer is happening again. We had a couple. I guess you could argue a well, heat wave days here in sunny Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And now it's back to our brain. So, yeah, it's not looking good today, but that's okay. I'm starting a new weight program. And eh, as you know, I want to thank all the subscribers to this channel who are following me. And I appreciate we're starting to get a little bit broad. Um, I've had some interesting comments from people that are supportive and I want to thank you for that all our new subscribers thank you very much um, this is my journey my anecdotal um, end of one experiment on my uh, nutrition health and wellness and so there's gonna be some some things that you agree with definitely some things you don't agree with but my sort of quest is to get some information out there so that you can make your own choice and empower you to become your own um, your own success story, really. Um, so we all know that I've been doing a beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. And today this comes into a little bit of the way I think about things and and some some things that, you know, I, I, I thought about writing some stuff down today, but no, I'm not. I'm going to just go off the cuff. I, started, I start out every morning. I make my coffee and, um, you know, I go through some some emails and, and look at some YouTube stuff that I want to see and I came across this guy's name's Mark Lewis and it his uh, YouTube video title was I ate vegan for 365 days will I continue and the, his answer in short was yes he is continuing but the one thing I wanted to like really really point out here is that the reasons and his points and opinions were so personal and so well well uh, broadcasted that you know this is this is where the question of, of my myself and why I've chosen the same or like the exact opposite way but for the same reasons and what it ultimately came down to is it's working for him he has health in mind and the way he's done it is he's put aside all the politics all the ideologies anything they tell him to do is not the point the point is he's tried things for himself and he's found a way for himself and then that led me to more to more thinking and I realized that it's kind of funny how we're, we're told and everybody out there is you should do this this you must you should you you need to you can't now the only way to know this for sure is to try things for yourself and we're trying to break through from financial driven agendas promoting health in their benefit and what I came to realize is if you take a well-constructed carnivore diet and a well-constructed vegan diet they have way more in common than they do apart now it may sound like my channel is anti-vegan but it's not at all. That is not what I'm trying to do. I don't, it doesn't matter. What matters is a few things that are common in the carnivore and vegan world. Now, my bias, because of, of what I've chose to do from the, the research I've done, the way I can live and what I prefer and I can accustom and, and acclimatize myself to is an animal-based approach. I've always been a steak guy. I've always been a meat and potatoes kid. In fact, I used to argue with my mom about vegetables because I hated them. Now, this sort of suits me in my adulthood looking back. Was I right? Maybe. Was my mom right? She had every good intention. But this is where we, we sort of <laughs> separate the what is and what isn't now the two things that that i have that we have in common if you are constructing a healthy diet there are certain hallmarks that have to be included here obviously you want to be healthier so you need to take in all considerations ethics sure that can be an argument you know, do I agree with animal cruelty? No. Do I want just animals to be treated unfairly? Absolutely not. 
I believe there is a place for regenerative agriculture and proper raising and cons cons uh, consumption of animals. I also believe that planting food and cropping should be seasonal, having the soil in mind and the planet in mind. And there's arguments all over the table between both sides and both have validity in their approach to it. But what are the hallmarks? A healthy diet needs to be, and I, I repeat this, needs to be nutrient dense, taking in consideration all your macronutrients in the right proportions for you is that's where you got to find out, you know, how much protein you need is debatable. How much fat you need is debatable. How much carbohydrates in the diet even remotely is debatable, right? But it has to have the right amount of the optimal diet would have the perfect amount of macronutrients for you. Now, then there's the other side of it, the micronutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the trace minerals, whether you need polyphenols or carotenoids, that's debatable. But we can't argue with the fact that we need fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. We need the water soluble vitamins, the B vitamin complex, and the C vitamins. Okay, so now there's holes in where you get these and how, how your body absorbs and assimilates these um, micronutrients. And the minerals are in context with how well your body's absorbing, digesting. So all these things are similar. So we're searching for the right optimal way and arguing politics and ethics when the goal should be, and I, and I mean that very well, is nutrient dense, covering all your essential macros and micros and proper hormone balance and digestion and all your symptoms in there. So that includes a healthy diet would promote healthy lifestyle, walking, sleeping well, meditation. They are all intertwined. So even though this seems like I am pro carnivore, that's not what I'm, my message is, it is. My message is to look at all the information out there and try and find your own way. Do I believe everybody should be intermittent fasting? Well, that's such a loose term now that you don't even know what intermittent fasting is. But to understand the, the, the biochemistry and the physiology that's going on in your body, it could be a valuable tool to achieve a goal. Whether your goal is longevity, healing, or weight loss, fat loss specifically, these are things that are interchangeable. Now, is there is there health properties in meat? Absolutely. Is there health properties in plants? Absolutely. Now, how well your body does with them, that's a debate, debatable question. And, you know, my bias is I believe human beings should be eating meat. Yes. Do I think we absolutely have to? Obviously not, because people don't do it and they, they're, they're okay and they're healthy. But there's certain aspects of both ways that can be very, very twisted. And if you have in mind every time that you go for something to eat, the nutrient density, understanding how that, that food may or may not contain bad things, then, then you sort of build from there. And I support anybody who is trying to make a change for the better. Unfortunately, I believe there's a lot of dogma especially online and in the internet and, and in the media where I don't think it's all that is cracked up to be. So what I've been doing is trying to inject logic and some critical thinking into what you need, what you can tolerate, what is optimal are very different contexts and you'll have your own way. And constructing a diet is one thing. But to, a way to eat healthy is a complete other ball game. And that's what I would, I urge people to do is to take control of the choices you have and understanding both sides of those choices and coming to your own way of achieving the best health for you. 
And, you know, do I agree with veganism? Not really, but I believe that nutrient density and nutrition, it doesn't matter where it comes from, it's nutrition. So whether I agree with you or not, it, it's irrelevant. What I'm trying to do is open up your mind to the possibility that some of the things that they say are healthy are not. And I'll look at, look at two sides of the coin here. Processed meat, CAFO, fa factory farms, and feedlots, not good. Everything that I believe in, in ancestral and, and, and meat eating, that is not really part of it. Now I'll look at the other side of it. And when you say plants, where do your vegetables come from? What have they done to the soil, let alone on to the actual plant or fruit to before you consume it? There, it's possible that there's, you know, there's, there's hiccups both sides. So what we're trying to do here on this channel is to separate anything from financial driven agenda that is not your health in mind in the name of being healthy. And you just have to look at all these propagandized marketing strategies and you can tell the radicals want you to be this way. The radicals and the zealots and the harlots, there is no other way. Of course there is. And that is not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to promote logic, thinking, and possibly you're going to have to do some legwork. You're going to have to try some stuff. Things might not might not, might not work out for you. They might be short-term gain. And what I do believe in common is why most people, when they try and get healthier, it's not so much what they're putting in their body. It's what they're not putting in their body that will result in short-term feeling better. And that's what my message is. And, and you know, I want to spread this if you need help constructing, I mean, I have vegetarian friends that, you know, have, which I, I believe is great. They eat eggs and dairy, and I think that's fantastic. I'm tending to push them towards eggs, not because they're eggs, but because they've got such valuable nutrition. And if they're going to eat them, they might as well expose that. But we all need protein. We all need energy. And where that comes from can be very complicating. And yes, I believe complete protein in beef is the best way to get it for me. But that doesn't mean you can't get complete protein in the plant world because people do it. So whichever side of the coin you're on, remember, the ultimate goal is to help our planet, is to help our, our population become healthier. And it starts with you. Now, what would I suggest? Think about these things, local, seasonal, nose to tail, if you're eating animals. And what does local and seasonal mean? Local means you're supporting regenerative agriculture, local farming. Now seasonal, what is available in your area would dictate how much of that you will consume and then it stays in that ecosystem. But the funny thing is, is to, in order to be seasonal and local, you need to fertilize the soil. You need to replenish the soil the best way possible. Now, I'm learning a little bit more about regenerative agriculture. And from what I gather, which may be wrong, but, you know, it's, it's, it's pointing to the cycle, the circle of life. You need animals to fertilize the soil, the soil to grow the crops. Now, either way, you look at it, local, seasonal. It's right there, guys. You know, it would be best for all of us to have our own personalized ecosystems that would be self-contained, regenerating our, protecting the earth. We all want the same thing. We don't want the, the world to be toxic. We don't want the world to be, you know, man changed. Sorry, women changed too. But we don't want to push that. And th all I'm saying is we've got to keep an open mind and, and look to... You know, science to question, not to prove you wrong, but to maybe be better. And that's all I'm going to say today, guys. I hope you can share these messages with people. And my, my goal is to unite us. Everybody should be a little bit better. And if we can give some answers to 
processed food is financial driven. It doesn't matter what kind. It's putting money in someone else's pocket that doesn't have your health in mind. So we're going to keep questioning. And if you guys have a question for me, by all means, set it, lay, a, lay a comment down, email me. My Instagram's posted. I'm going to have certain ways that I do things. So it's part my story and part trying to help you find yours. All right, guys, please, if you can, like and subscribe to the channel. That's great. I want everybody to stay strong and have a great one.